I have been asked numerous times what cookie plugin I'm using, the cookie banner that pops up here to tell people that I'm using cookies to give you the best experience or a better experience to browse through my website. Unfortunately, this is not popping up now because I had already clicked continue and now I have to wait 30 days to see it again and i don't want to do that i want to show you today so what i do is i'm going to go into my online website for my online course and show it to you here so to get the cookie uh, enabled the cookie banner enabled you go into settings sorry let me just do that again go into settings go into cookies and visitor data and then you click enable cookie banner and here is where you put your text in so you can use squarespace's default text which is this one i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna use my own text so let me just quickly grab it okay here it is so i'm just gonna paste it here and i'm gonna say this site uses cookies and maybe I'm going to get a little cookie emoji here just to make it a bit more interesting because, you know, cookie banners and cookie notices is not all that exciting. So I'm going to make this bold and also just to be sure to have your either your privacy notice or your cookie policy linked here so that people can click into it and check it out. So when you don't have a cookie banner, you can also do away with it by until you have one by separating your cookie section from your privacy notice and put it into a separate page so i'm gonna do that anyway i did it anyway because according to a privacy professional that i was talking to um it looks like squarespace's, squarespace's cookie banner is not gdpr compliant just yet i uh, i have my cookie policy on a separate page just to be sure until i found the right tool to use for my cookie banner so i'm gonna just link this up for now and then i quickly show you my research or the three tools i would be looking into and um, where is my cookie policy oh it's not here it's on the other website so that's why okay let me just quickly add it into an external link and then i will show you into my website cookie policy i put that into the into a separate page open in a new window add link so that's added make sure to have that added and then you click save so now your cookie banner is done and that's what squarespace's cookie banner looks like it's okay it goes all the way across which is it's nice, but I would like to change it and customize it to my own colors. I have to say now that I see it all along, I might even leave it without a code, but I'm just going to show you how I would do that and what it would look like when you put a code in. So you go all the way back and you want to change this into your own website colors. So you go into settings. No, you don't. You go into design because now we're going into the custom CSS code. So you enter the code here see how that changed the cookie and that's it that's what i did however i'm going to also um because my privacy professional said that you need to give the user real choice over cookies because there are different kinds of cookies like analytics and marketing and social media and these kind of things i am going to use squarespace for now but i am also going to research civicuk.com which i just received via email just as a tool just to check it out also cookiebot.com which uh, both of them have a free version and then there's onetrust.com which um, seems to be pretty expensive cookiebot.com is pretty ugly i tried it so i'm still trying out civicuk.com and see what happens um but for now i'm gonna use squarespace and until I find out for sure, I am going to have my cookie policy on a separate page just to be sure to be sure. So here I just thought I might actually change this to make it a little bit wider. Um, so it looks like that. And um, actually maybe just 400. Let's see. Yeah, so that's three lines nearly under each other. Yeah, that looks okay. But three, 350, sorry. 450 that's it so it's just three lines it doesn't look as much to read and that's it so we click save 
and that's it that's my cookie banner saved and that's what people now receive when or see when they visit my my website for the first time now this is the online course website so this is gonna happen when they visit this website so when people come onto my website here kassinbeckley.com that cookie banner will appear here just like you see it just like you see it here and they will click continue and then that's it they have agreed to my cookie policy and of course all my policies are then also down here in and that's where they are going to be guided to through the cookie banner and that's it so if you have any questions don't hesitate to contact me or to just comment below and ask me anything or if you have any ideas of what i could show you in my next tutorial next friday that would be great too just comment below also make sure to subscribe to this youtube channel so that when you can get notified with uh, for any new video that i put up um, yeah, and apart from that, what else did I want to say? If you want to have the same policies that I do here, the privacy notice, you know, with post GDPR, if you haven't done it yet, I have a link where you could get the same privacy notice and terms and conditions in, in short, the GDPR package I purchased. I have a link for that right below this video and just click it so you'll get um, the same privacy notice, which is the best one out there. This is the Done by um, disclaimer template a guy called James Chido and he is just really really helpful and passionate about GDPR um, yeah so that's it that's all I wanted to share today and um, have a great day